Hi, I'm Dr. Ramani Dravasala, and today's question we're going to try to tackle in this video is, can women be narcissistic? That's the big question because so much of the focus on a lot of what you see online and read about is really sort of bad narcissistic guy and a woman who's suffering. But absolutely, yes, women can be narcissistic. It's a pattern. It's a personality style, and there's no reason it wouldn't happen in a woman as easily as a man. And anyone out there who has a narcissistic mother knows that women can be narcissistic. But there is a difference. Definitely, it's, if I were to sort of spitball, probably 80-20, 80% 80 men, 20% women, who are really sort of noticeably narcissistic. Um, and part of the reason for that are differences in socialization. Girls and women are much more socialized for empathy, compassion, kindness, playing nice, sharing feelings, and vulnerability. Men are told that those things are verboten or they're not masculine, and so many times get the message from fathers, even mothers and society, to man up, be strong, which means don't show emotions and that kind of thing. That can be a setup for that. And also, men may also sometimes experience greater senses of uh, insecurity and vulnerability that will ultimately manifest as narcissism. So they get more valued for some of the criteria that hang out with narcissism, like lack of empathy, entitlement, grandiosity. Men are overvalued for more superficial success metrics, like financial success, um, being a leader, sort of that kind of the alphaness of it all, that does tend to get more rewarded in men than in women, also setting a tone for a greater likelihood of it. But all of that said, there is no reason a woman cannot be narcissistic, and many are. So the patterns are going to be absolutely the same. The lack of empathy, the entitlement, the grandiosity, the superficiality, arrogance, problems with managing emotion. The reason this can hurt so much, and again, I imagine some of you had this experience, is women are mothers. You know, if it was a, a a father is an incredibly important pay parent, but oftentimes the mother is a primary caregiver. So if you have a narcissistic mother, it can be really destabilizing for a child. So that's one example of where narcissism in women can really sort of exact a toll, not just on their partner, on their husband or their spouse, partner, fiance, whatever, but also on their children. Because for the child, it really comes down then to the, who is typically their primary caregiver, being invalidating, being inconsistent, being cold being distant, often having very poor boundaries, uh, looking to the child as a source of validation, um, punishing the child for their own insecurity. So the child will find themselves, at some points they'll feel like they're, they're, uh, they are having to be their own parent, they feel like they have to be their mother's spouse, like it's sort of all over the place. So it's a really difficult way to grow up. Many people, when they encounter narcissism in women, if it's not their mother, they might encounter it in the workplace. So some people will say, gosh, I have this, I work with this woman, she's very difficult, she's stealing my ideas, she really creates a lot of toxicity in the workplace, etc., etc. So that is the example of how a narcissistic woman can really sort of make a workplace into a very sort of chaotic, difficult, toxic environment. Sort of the prototypical narcissistic female boss would be someone like the woman Miranda Priestley from The Devil Wears Prada. It's a great example of that kind of really invalidating, cold, um, uh, distant, unempathic, demanding, entitled kind of boss who's a woman. Now, a woman who behaves in that workplace like that will sometimes maybe take more flack for it, but not always. And a lot of times women will turn to a woman to be her mentor. And when that woman in a position of authority turns around and is deeply narcissistic, it can actually really feel rough because I think a lot of people say, oh, I've got a female boss. Maybe she's going to be more of a, a caregiver or be more um, emotionally open. Don't assume that. Don't assume that. That's a very gendered assumption. And you better believe that women can be very narcissistic. And in the workplace, you can really feel that toll. And they can do just as much damage as a male narcissistic leader. In that way, it's not like women who are narcissists do less damage. In fact, sometimes you're caught by surprise. You're like, oh, it's a woman. She's going to be in touch with her emotions. I'll be able to share my vulnerability with her. And when that's not the case, it can often be quite disarming. For men out there, or women out there, who are in relationships with a narcissistic female partner, it can get really, really difficult. This is a partner who is incredibly demanding, who can be very critical, can be just as verbally abusive, again, as a male narcissist would be to their partner. It's all the usual bells and whistles, but now it's from a woman to a man, and it can be very, very invalidating for men. A, a not uncommon pattern you might see is a narcissistic woman 
who really views her partner as he needs to do more for you. He needs to pay more attention. You, you're told you need to pay more attention to me. You need to do more things for me. You need to buy more gifts for me. You need to make more experiences for me. After a while, you because you are her source of narcissistic supply, after a while, it becomes really, really exhausting. And again, it's all the same regardless of the gender. But I think some men will think, I'm going to solve the problem because men tend to be a bit more problem focused in their approach to relationships. So if I do this, it'll be fine. And in this case, like, great, I'll just keep buying her more stuff. I'll take her on more trips. I'll do everything she asks me to do and everything will be fine. And just when you think you get it, the ring isn't big enough. The bag isn't nice enough. The vacation wasn't first class enough. Her friend got something bigger or better. So you will, as always, as anyone in a relationship with a narcissist will feel, you'll feel like you're not enough. And again, a man might actually be more vulnerable to it because he'll feel like, well, I'll just keep trying. I'll just keep doing what needs to be done. Um, a narcissistic partner also tends to be rather jealous, again, whether man or woman, woman, but for a woman, it may really manifest as being an intense jealousy and, um, and flying into rages. And when a woman becomes very violent to a man, they sometimes feel like they're just going to have to put up with it and they can't report it as though various institutional officials or law enforcement won't believe them or will make fun of them. Keep in mind, women can abuse their partners physically, emotionally, and verbally. Again, no gender boundaries there. It can happen in either direction. So in a, a relationship with a narcissistic woman can be very, very challenging. And just like with the narcissistic men who are often very attractive, the narcissistic women can also be very beautiful, great bodies, beautiful faces. They've often spent a lot of time on their appearance. And so they'll often tick that box that a lot of men want. They want the gorgeous woman. Well, a lot of times you have to be careful because if she spent that much time on her appearance, it does mean that that superficial stuff is really important to her. Superficiality is a big part of narcissism. So narcissistic women obviously are gonna be there. And it, it seems like as the world changes, social media and seeking validation on social media is getting more and more heft in our culture that sadly, as we get more and more equal gender roles, there's some wonderful things about it, but this is one of the sad things about it. We're probably going to see continued upticks in narcissism in women. And really the agony is when narcissistic women do go on to have children, they really aren't able to do the kind of long day after day empathic heavy lifting that we need to see in any kind of caregiving or parenting relationship. And over time, that does such damage to their children, children who go into adulthood full of self-doubt, sometimes self-loathing, and definitely the same kinds of feelings of insecurity that their mother has. They're, in essence, that mother has put those into the child. So yep, women can be narcissistic. I've ran into a lot in my own life. It was not a wonderful experience. Mercifully, my mom is actually not narcissistic at all, so I got very lucky there. But other women who I've worked with and who I've been close to, I've had that experience. It can be destabilizing, and in some ways you almost feel like, what is this? The sisterhood let me down? Like, how could this be happening? Narcissism doesn't know your gender. It just happens. When it happens, it's not pretty. Thanks. Have, hope you have a good one and stay non-narcissistic.